Hey, Kelly. Did you see how hard it was raining yesterday? Yeah, it was pouring really bad. Indeed. It's like it was raining cats and dogs. You know, every time I hear this phrase, I imagine lots of cartoon cats and dogs happily flying around in the sky as it's raining. Something like this? Yeah, kinda. But not falling, just、uh, flying around through the sky happily as it rains. I don't want them to fall or get hurt. That's kind of funny. I never thought of the expression like that before. Yeah, as an English learner, I've known about this phrase for a long time, but I never understood why people use it to talk about the weather. Why do we say raining cats and dogs? Why not cows and horses or any other animals? English is a weird mix of expressions borrowed from other languages. And sometimes people like to come up with silly expressions for simple things. There are a few ideas out in the world that suggest where this phrase might have come from. The first theory is that the expression comes from Norse mythology. Norse mythology is a type of folklore that came from the people of Northern Europe, so countries like Norway, Sweden, and Iceland. In the artwork of Norse mythology, Odin. Was commonly represented alongside packs of wolves and dogs. It was also said that witches would take flight during heavy rainstorms, along with their black cats riding with them. So the idea is the expression "raining cats and dogs" would mean raining heavily with lots of wind. That's really cool. Lots of different cultures believe that they are gods controlling the weather. Yes. We know now the scientific reasons for weather patterns, but in those times, people wanted an explanation for why things in the world happened the way they did. It's quite interesting how everyone had their own ideas on who controlled the weather. Yeah, that's really interesting. I guess people have used this phrase for a really long time. Then, yes, it's been around for quite some time. Actually, as a matter of fact, in the 19th century, there was a piece of artwork by an artist named George. Crookshank. The piece of art was called "Raining Cats, Dogs, and Pitchforks." Isn't that how I imagined it? People pictured it so long ago. Yes, I guess a lot of people had a similar imagination. Another theory is that part of the phrase "cats and dogs" is actually the result of real-life game of broken telephone between languages. Oh, broken telephone! That is a fun game. You can never really guess how a message will end up after a game of broken telephone. For those of you who are unfamiliar with the game, in broken telephone, one person starts by saying a phrase to another person in a line of four or more people. Only the first person knows the original phrase. The people then take turns passing the phrase along the line, and by the time the phrase gets to the end, it is usually very different from the beginning. Here's an example. So as we can see, the first person is being told the phrase "despacito," and by the end of the line of kids, the phrase turned into "desperate housewives." Similar to the broken telephone game, this phrase started as a Greek expression, "katadoxa," which means "beyond belief." As people shared this expression among each other, and it traveled through Europe, the phrase transformed into "cats and dogs" in English. That's funny. After playing broken telephone so many times, I never knew it would happen in real life like this. Yeah, it is quite funny, and I'm sure it's not the first time it's happened. So, when and how would I use this expression? Is this only used when it's raining? Yes, the phrase "cats and dogs" is used only when we are describing rain. If someone asks you how the weather is and it's raining really heavily, you can say, "Oh." It's raining cats and dogs out there. To put that into context, a conversation may go something like this: I'd ask you how the weather how the weather is outside, and you would say, "It's raining cats and dogs." Exactly. Hi, I'm Kelly, and I'm currently learning English with Matt. We're trying to explore the language in a fun way, and we'd be happy to have you join us. If our content gave you a little bit of help, and you learned something new today, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And give this video a thumbs up. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.